Number two, what is the IUPAC name for the following compound? We have another one here. We need to find the longest carbon chain. This is not always going to be just the chain that is given to you from left to right. We need to make sure we get the longest one possible. And so this one snakes up over here. That is going to be the longest carbon chain. Now we have to number left to right or right to left. And we want the first substituent occurring soonest. So we will, in this case, number right to left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because we have a substituent on three, if we numbered left to right, we wouldn't have a substituent until carbon four. Then we see what substituents we have. We have a methyl here, we have a methyl here, and we have an ethyl there. If we want to number these alphabetically, we will do the ethyl first, so we need 5-ethyl. Then we would name the methyls at the same time because they're the same substituent, so we can have 3-4-dimethyl. And then once again, remember the prefix di does not make it D for dimethyl. It is still M for methyl, so it's still ethyl before methyl. And then we've named all the substituents, and we have eight carbons there, so that is going to be an octane, which means we have A, 5-ethyl, 3-4-dimethyl octane.